Hey everybody, this is Max Prime, Preacher Sunday. We just got done with an amazing episode tonight. I'm taking a page out of Cassidy's book, and let's get off into the review. Um, highlights for me in this episode, let's just start off by saying that Quinn Cannon not being taken over by the power of the word, him basically storming into Jesse's church and demanding him to basically sign the deed over to his church. Wow. Where Jesse was completely caught off guard and kind of maybe finally realized that the power of the word isn't working on someone that is truly evil as Quinn Cannon truly is. Quinn Cannon storms out after Jesse refuses to sign over the church and we get back to our main scene where we have a nice quiet, looks like a nice quiet breakfast going on and we have Jesse, Tulip, um, and Cassidy as well and it's pretty much quiet as Preachers is sitting there and we finally have uh, Tulip come forward and say, why, why, what's wrong with you, Jesse? You know, why are you so quiet? What's the matter, you know? And I think everything's been piling on Jesse. Come on, he sent Arseface to hell. Uh, you know, he's dealing with Quinn Cannon wanting his church. Um, he's feeling that now that he can't control the power, the entity that is inside of him, what's next for Jesse? So at this moment, that's when uh, basically Cassidy meets Preacher outside. And Cassidy, throughout this episode, has been struggling. Um, even earlier in the episode with a conversation with Tulip about revealing his identity of being a vampire. Because he really technically, he tried to tell Jesse, but it, this, Jesse never knew. So finally we have Cassidy walk out into the sunlight. He starts to burn on fire and flames. And Jesse finally realizes that, wow, Cassidy really is a vampire. And he's totally like freaked out by it, almost disgusted by it in a way, because he's now no, like the ultimate sinner to him. Uh, then we, you know, in that scene, uh, we also had the sheriff show up and basically ask, "Where's Ars face? You know, where is he? Where is he?" Um, again, key moments to me in this episode is one that Jesse is just losing control of himself. I mean, between you and me, Jesse's losing control. The entity is basically just destroying him inside out. Um, his decisions are very just irrational. Um, it seems like he's balancing on, again, both sides, like good and evil. Um, you know, towards the end of the episode, we had Quinn Cannon and his whole entire, um, you know, meat factory dudes basically going up to the church and they're coming up with a bulldozer with shotguns and everything um, towards the end of the episode approaching the church. Um, you know, while we see Jesse actually pulling up the boards in his church saying, come home, you know, or come here, talking, you know, possibly bringing Eugene back from hell. And we also got an interesting side or backstory in regards to Eugene. The reason why Preacher wouldn't actually send him back out of hell. Because if you think about it, all he has to do is just use the word and kind of bring Eugene back. Cassidy, you know, confronted him before Cassidy caught on fire and said, Hey, how come you haven't brought Eugene back? He's an innocent kid. And that's when Preacher reveals the true story about Eugene and how Eugene was obsessed with a girl. And when the girl rejected Eugene, Eugene shot her in the head with a shotgun and then he turned the shotgun on himself. Um, that's why Preacher left him rotting in hell. What, are, what Again, fans, what are your thoughts? Yeah, leave your comments, like this video. That was the quick recap of the episode tonight. Um, I loved it. And again, to me, the shining star of tonight's episode is Cassidy because he just whipped up you know, his clothes, walked out into pure sunlight and burned, you know, and hoping that Preacher would save him and stuff, you know, just to say, hey, would you save me if I burned alive and stuff? Brilliant episode. Subscribe to the channel, Max Prime, I'm out, later.